November 24th, 2016, it's 2.30 a.m. and it's time for another two for two video. And today's topic is racism. Because of the recent election events that's happened in the United States of America, news outlets and media have been covering a lot of racism and hate events that have been happening throughout the United States. And I would not be talking about this if it hasn't happened locally in my city. And sadly, it has. Examples, white supremacy posters, being handed out to residents in Richmond, BC. KKK recruitment flyers being handed out to residents in Abbotsford, BC. A Vancouver man was confronted by a Donald Trump supporter giving him the Nazi salute, which I'm not gonna do on camera. There's no doubt that racism does exist and I don't think it's going away anytime soon, but displaying racism in public has been seen as a big no-no because of previous historic events that I won't go into. But because of the US elections, there has been publicly displayed racism tags on city walls with uh, racist remarks and symbols and all that stuff. Personally, the last time I had a racist remark thrown at me was when I was driving. Long story short, uh, I was in the main middle lane, person in a Jeep was in the rightmost lane. And you gotta understand there's a dotted line separating the lanes. So I'm in the main lane going straight. And so he had to lane change into my lane away from the parked cars. That's the lane that he was in. I went by him. He had no turn signal, nothing on. So he tried to merge into my lane and stopped because he saw me in the lane. Then he got pissed off. So the car in front of me stopped because it was busy. It's rush hour. He rolled down his driver's side window and I rolled down my passenger window just, just to hear what he's got to say. It's because it's entertaining sometimes. He screamed a, a racist remark. He said, hey, slow down. You definitely make a bad name for all Chinese drivers, all Asian drivers. And no wonder why you're driving so bad or something like that. I can't remember it. I didn't take it personal. I wasn't quick to react to it and to throw anything back. I was just like, uh, I was like, dude, you're in the rightmost lane and you have to do a lane change because there is a dotted line separating the lanes and I have it on camera. After saying that, he rolled back his window and I rolled back my window and I continued on along the way. And I was thinking to myself, if I was switching shoes with that guy, would I have screamed those racist remarks? And I don't think I would have. Let me give you an example. Um, I was driving along. This driver, no signal chain, nothing, cut me off. Totally right in front of me, cut me off. And my mind was, okay, let's see who this person is. Let's put a face to the driver. Roll up on the left side. And before I got to the driver's side window, I was like, please don't be Asian. Please don't be Asian. But I'm thinking this and I'm sending it inside the car. Like there's no public display of it. I'm inside my car, windows are rolled up. And I'm just like, oh, please don't be Asian. Please don't be Asian. And it, it's something racist enforced over time because of all the jokes about bad Asian drivers and all that stuff. But I did not roll down my window and I did not scream out the window going, you stupid blah, 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 blah. I didn't do that. I don't think I'll ever do that. I'll keep those thoughts to myself because they're just not good thoughts. They have no place in society. And I say that because I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want those negative thoughts to be screamed at me. And I don't want it to scream at anybody else because you want to treat people how you want to be treated. My final thought on this whole topic, we're all humans. When you rewind back, 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 we all came from the same place, earth. For the people that are saying these racist remarks, you got to first understand if you're talking about states or Canada or North America in general. I nor you were the first ones here. I know I'm, my parents immigrated here. I was born in Vancouver, so that makes me Canadian. But when it comes down to it, in history, we were not the first ones here. A guy named Christopher Columbus sailed across the ocean and landed in Newfoundland. Uh, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, and square out.